Okay. September 21, 2014. Yesterday, 24 hours ago, this chow chow came in, fits with saliva coming out from here, thick saliva, and not able to stand up with the legs shaking, feet shaking. And uh, it happened uh, about 15 minutes ago. So I gave the William injection or diazepam, I am, and uh, then we, we send with the blood test and uh, give the IV drip. As to the cause of it, uh, we will know from the blood test now. What I'm talking about now is that this five-year-old female Chow Chow has this entropion. Now, there's a simple surgery where we cut, where we cut the piece of skin here. We cut here one elliptical piece of skin and then stitch up and then the eyelid will not roll inwards, the lower eyelid will roll out. So when the lower eyelid rolls out, then the upper one also, you cut a piece of, elliptical piece of skin here and stitch up. Then the upper eyelid also roll out. And this, this dog will not have this problem of a, of a eye, infections and discharge. The eye will be like this, it will be normal, you see. But now, the owner didn't want to do it, so so for five years, this dog is suffering from uh, irritation of the cornea, as you can see, because of the inrolling, lower eyelid inroll inside. It should, it should roll up like this. Uh. Okay, same with this eye as well. Uh, this is a very common problem in Chow Chow's. Uh and uh, sharp face also. So as you can see from here, he always has this eye infection. Now with, with this entropion, entropion means in, in rolling of the eyelids. So the surgery is to cut an elliptical skin and then stitch up. So when you stitch up, the eyelid will roll out. So when the eyelid rolls out, then the eyelashes won't irritate the eye. Same with the top eyelid, up eyelid, do the same thing and you will have the eyelid roll outwards and this dog will not suffer from this uh, eye irritation and infection and uh, this is uh, one of the surgeries, I don't know why the owner doesn't want to do it Okay, now the other problem with this dog is the skin disease There's a lot of skin disease and uh, you can see that there's infection, the ear infection and uh, Chow Chow's need a lot of maintenance. So if there's no maintenance, he keep on scratching. This is scratch until the whole uh, neck is infected. And uh, similarly with the elbows. Of course, the other cause could be dermatitic mites, dermatitic mange. But uh, if you, if you want to keep a Chow Chow, you need to. To, uh, the best is to sterilize her. Uh, this child is not sterilized, and uh, there's a lot of uh, infections going on. So I think the owner, the owner has given up on uh, on the treatment. So you can see a lot of dandruff, hair loss. So in some of these cases, this could be uh, the spaying the dog could could uh, have resolved the skin problems because sometimes it's due to sex hormone dermatosis. Now this dog is also very thin as you can feel the bones and uh, today she has recovered from from uh, the fits. <coughs> as to the cause of the fits, we will wait for the blood test results and uh, but I believe it could be due to the poor health status. Now you can see the vulva is swollen. Eh? swollen. And uh, she she might be on heat. She had she had false pregnancies some time ago. So uh, for, to keep a chow chow, you must actually uh, solve the problem of entropion so that she can she can eat, she can enjoy her life because it's very painful having uh, the eye discharge every day, a thick eye discharge. Top of your vets, uh, September 21, 2014.
21 to Jehovah for Sunday, 10.30 a.m.